No game ball today? Nah, no game ball. The O-line deserved it, and they got it, so I ain't even mad about it. Um, I, can you just walk us through the, the touchdown play? What did you see? When did you realize that you might have a chance to score on that play? Um, I knew I was going to score as soon as I stiffed on number 12, but, like, at first, it was kind of it was it was very cloudy for sure because it's a, the play was supposed to go originally right front side, and um, something I don't even know what happened. Something threw me off to where I just looked backside and I said, see nothing but green and number twelve there, and somebody was blocking and he was cutting off the block, and I just knew at that point when I turned the corner that I had to get going, and there was no denying me getting the end zone. I don't know if you've seen the replay or know what happened, but Michael Mayer had a nice block downfield, and then Avery Davis and sort Avery, of cuts. Yeah, yeah. What, what does that mean to you that those guys are like putting that, that effort out there so far downfield to make, mean, make sure that it happens? means it means everything to me because like I know they're I know what they do each and every week. I know they're um, they're there to catch balls, but then when they have to block, they're not going to throw a fit about it. They're going to go do it. and They're going to execute it to the um, highest level. And um, I just remember, like you said, Avery just coming down the field, running with me, um, hand and stride to stride, just look, making sure no one, no one uh, comes from behind and gets me. And I just, you know, I just appreciate all my, all my boys out there, just everybody collectively working as a group to, you know, just get a, get a win and succeed. How concerned were you when you went out of the game, and how, how quickly did you realize that you were going to be okay and you could get back in there? Uh, so I might have been a little dramatic, but um, I knew as soon as like, as soon as the play was over, that I was going to be fine. I was just it was a little tired, and then I got rolled up weird, uncomfortably. So um, you know, just the doc, the docs looked at me. Uh, we went to the tent, looked at everything was fine, and you know, I was able to get back out there and you know, just put make continue to make plays. I sort of realized that you were going to be able to play when you celebrated uh, Diggs' Celebrate touchdown. touchdown. What, yeah. what was it like to see him kind of sort of come through in that moment when you had gone out early? That was just drive? pure joy because, like, Logan is a true freshman. Like, he's in a spot that, like, not many people are able to have. So, um, And then he goes in there and makes plays and then takes a drive over and leaves, ends it with a touchdown. So I was nothing but excitement out of me. I couldn't even say words. I was just screaming. So I was super excited. For Logan, and I know what he does each and every week to the work he puts in to get where he's at. Yep. Doug Farmer is next. Kyron, Tyler mentioned Avery Davis coming down there. Did you see him the whole play? Did you see him on the video board? You, you sound like you knew he was there for you on yeah. the play. It wasn't just um, afterward. So, yeah, I've, every time that I break a long run like that, I'm always looking at the video board to see who's behind me, who's around me and everything. But um, I remember just running down the sideline, and I see Avery literally running at me. So I'm like, oh, someone's behind me. I know someone's close to behind me. So me and Avery probably made contact, eye contact on that, and I really thought he was going to tackle me. But um, he just came back to block somebody, and I really appreciate that. He might have been running faster than you at that point. No, yeah, he probably he might have been. <laughs> and I honestly don't remember if you were on the field for Jack's 21-yard scamper, but what did you see on that play, and, uh, and how happy were you for him uh, to see him? I was in the tent. Oh, that was yeah. my mistake. He had a 21-yard run? Touchdown run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did see that then. Yeah, yeah. No, I did. Because then he lifted me up, and then I was like, yo, Jack, why you lift me up? I was supposed to lift you up. But, yeah, I'm just super excited for Jack, you know. Not everybody thinks Jack can run, but obviously he showed that he can run tonight. And that's something we always knew. But, like, it's, like I said, like, not everybody, like the world, I guess, knew that he could run. But, you know, we always got faith in Jack. Thanks. Tim Priester is next in the back. Kyron, when, uh, when you guys are doing what you're doing offensively, running and passing, just wondering, as Coach Reese is making calls, do you try to think along with him and how – how much has the playbook expanded since you guys, the, at least the last nine quarters, I guess? Yeah. Um, you know, I really don't go too much into that with the play calling. You know, I just try to leave it to the coaches. But if I do feel something, I definitely let them know what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing. And, you know, I can't really say much for the pass game because I'm not really out there running routes. But I just know, run game-wise, that I'm always in Coach Taylor's ear, like, let's keep doing this. It's going to hit. Let's keep doing that. If we get in the goal line, we got to run this play. Don't run this play. Um, so, yeah, they always, they're always listening. We're always making adjustments on the fly. So, shout out to coaches for that. Are you ever caught by surprise with, with a play call? Um, mm. Not really? No, because a lot, of the, sorry, a lot of the plays that we run on Saturday, we've already gone through the whole week or we've repped before sometime in the season. So, nothing really surprises me. That's what I want to ask you. Like, are there situations in a game where he just goes to another section of the playbook and maybe you didn't work on that as much during the week? Uh, you know, I feel like he keeps it kind of simple, not simple, but like the same as what we've been doing the whole week. He doesn't really go away from that, but we all know that there's plays that we don't practice during the week that we have to know 
And um, like those are the big third down plays, the plays that like we're guaranteed, like we have a lot of confidence in. So as an offense and like probably wide receiver and running backs, we know like what those plays are. And when they come in, we got to execute them. Did you know you were at 199 yards? Yeah, I knew that. Does it <laughs> does that bother you yeah, that you didn't get 200? <laughs> Angelo De Carlo is next in the front. Karen, you uh, do you ever recall a touchdown in high school, middle school, grade school that was uh, just like that one? Was or at least as good or exciting as that one? Um, I would say all my high school runs were definitely more exciting than that one um, <laughs> because, like, in high school, I just run all around the field. But, no, that one, that was probably my most exciting college run for so, just being able to cross field. Like, just it really felt like one of them high school runs, just coming back all the way across field and um, just hitting it where it wasn't supposed to go and making people miss when they needed to. Pete Sampson's next in the front. DJ Brown was in here and he talked about sort of your leadership with the defense this week and I think BK referenced that too like this being the first week you guys know you don't have Kyle Hamilton yeah. did you feel like you took on more this week as like all right I can help the defense not just the offense um I feel like yeah in a way um obviously Kyle being out you know it affects a lot on the defense but you know I really just I don't know much about defense you know I just try to encourage the players when they're there and at practice um I like to work with them a lot, like one on one, or just when we're in team stuff, just making sure, like, put do things that are like game like similar, so that we both get um, mm -hmm. the reps, or like, we kind of both get um, the, I guess, yeah, the reps that you know it could be game like. Yeah, I mean, did you spend any more time with those guys this week, just because I mean they they had a different challenge without mm -hmm. fourteen out there? Um, no, no, I wouldn't say not really. You know, I was just, I always talk to the guys. You know, I'm always around there, just talking. No matter, I don't care what you play, like. Special teams, defense, offense, I'm always going to tell you we're teammates. So, um, you know, I'm always just trying to lead them. But, like like I said, like the team periods, I really – like I'll tell J.D., like, let's work this. Let's, or I'll tell Houston, let's work this. So, um, there's a lot of things that we do in practice that are, we both try to get better on. Tyler Horkett is next in the front. Karen, you mentioned the game ball going to the offensive line. You were in here after some of those games earlier in the season where, you know, the running game wasn't really going y'all's way, and you were adamant that – you know, it would come around, it would turn around. Yeah. Now that the last three games that, that it has and you're able to run for 199 yards and it seems like you guys have everything going your way, what has that been like to see that, you know, develop and for you to be able to run behind a group of guys that finally has it coming yeah. together? I feel like I, this is, like, what I've been talking about the past three weeks since Virginia Tech. Um, I've seen it since Virginia Tech. We're, we've, we've been going upwards, running, running the ball-wise, and the confidence, the mindset, the identity of what who we are as a offense, as what we call ourselves, Big O. Like it's it's there. Like it's coming along, and we're all we're all in for it, and we're all working there, we're working towards to get there because we know each and every week we got to get better. So, and there's something that next week we, we got to do um, to make sure that we're able to keep up this success as an offense, and we're going to go to work this week to make sure that happens.